guess where we are? Little sneak peek. We are in Venice for the film festival. We've been so kindly brought along with Armani Beauty for the red carpet and the film festival. And we are just absolutely over the moon to be back and to be staying at the San Clemente Kempinski again. It's just the most dreamy, dreamy hotel. Sorry, I don't know why I'm, I just didn't want to have to hold the camera. Yeah, me and Alex are beside ourselves with excitement. Alex, come here. Brought my sunglasses. <laughs> you didn't. Alex! I had a meltdown in the uh, Alex in the, in the taxi over thinking I forgot my sunglasses so I've got to the airport and bought a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> well now you have two nice pairs! Yeah, we're staying at the San Clemente. This hotel is just the absolute dream so we're feeling extremely honoured to be here. I have some Armani goodies! I don't know what's in here, I haven't seen yet. Oh wow! It's an Armani Privé scent. I've never tried this. Gardenia Antigua. Oh, that's exciting. You, you guys know how I feel about the Privé scent. It also gives me a Cremonera Supreme Reviving Cream. It is like Armani's most idyllic, beautiful, experiential, moisturising cream of dreams. Wow. Cream of dreams. And cream of dreams. <laughs> wow. The eye serum to go with it. I've got a few other little bits of makeup. And then in here, I think this might be for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's my favourite. Okay, we might have to see who likes what more. But it's my, my favourite, Cypress Pantelleria. I'm like halfway through my bottle already of that. What, and this is for me? I'm obsessed with it. Well, yeah, well, I think so. I think there's a bag each, because you've also got a reviving cream too. Lucky boy, Mr. Good Skin. What's Gardenia? Is this not for me? No, I don't think so. No, because this is in my bag. They, so we can try it and sense. see. Show everyone, show everyone how pretty the box is. So, so like... They're so experiential. Will you marry la, me? La, la. <laughs> no, this is it. La la la. I've not tried that one before. Which one says this is Gardenia? Gardenia Antigua. I have not stopped wearing. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's definitely a perfume. Or maybe you can have... Oh wait. Some, maybe you can have some prison. Wow. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh my gosh. That's so uh, rich. Completely different to that. No, I, I don't think it is. Oh wow, that's nice. Is this, is this, do you have this? Do you yeah, wear this? I've been wearing it all the time. Like, like I said, I'm halfway through the bottle. Oh, that's really good. Though. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Yeah, well that's for you. So this Gardini is, is for me. This is really floral and rich and deep. And that one, it's so light and airy and it's, it smells like a breeze oh, yeah. through the trees. Nobody does. It really does. It smells like a breeze through the trees. A breeze through the trees. Now watch Alex use about 50 million squirts of this perfume. Why is everything 50 million? It always like, is. Don't be ridiculous. That's my exaggeration number, 50 million always. In the planning of this trip, I've been meeting with the, uh, the ladies from Armani and every time we're like, we can't wait for that first sip of Aperol Spritz. So we're going now, we're going first down now. Spaghetti more like. Oh gosh, there's some spaghetti, yeah. So we're gonna head down now and have some lunch, I can't wait. I'm not gonna even bother putting on any makeup. I just wanna be, I mean, I've got some, um, I've got some of my Armani Lip Power 102 on already, but otherwise, I'm pretty barefaced. So I just wanna uh, just go and enjoy a little bit of sunshine. Oh, I'm just so happy. So I've got my little, little Gucci skirt on and this beautiful black bodysuit. I'm a little bit obsessed with this. I'm not stop wearing it. My Veneto, how appropriate, my Veneto necklace. My Bottegas. I'll continue with my little Chanel out. Save changing it. My beautiful little Chanel top, cocoa top handle, which is actually filled to the brim with stuff. What is even in here? So much better. Top up the 102. And let's go. Um, salad. Pasta. Oh, yeah, 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 and then yeah. they all do it. He made them do that over, over, and over. Look at this. Oh, can you have this? We love a tomato pasta, don't you, babe? Every day. <laughs> And we're back to the room after a wonderful lunch. Really quickly showed you that lunch, I know, but we were just all in the middle of chats and things. I didn't want to like shove a camera in everyone's face. Me, Alex and Natasha have decided to go into central Venice 
we need to go and find Alex a lovely suit to wear for the film festival. We've been meaning to get Alex a lovely suit now for quite some time, so I thought, let's go in, try and find a really gorgeous suit, see if we can get it tailored. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm literally throwing on some makeup really, really quickly and get myself looking a little bit more alive. This is my favorite new eyeshadow, the Melting Color Balms. This is in shade 20. I like to use shade number 22, which is a little bit darker on a more precise brush and just brush it through the very lash line a bit like an eyeliner i did a reel with this the other day and showed this that i've been doing and i just love it so much i just do it every day it's so quick things just move so easily so just throw that on i'm also wearing luminous silk foundation we're in shade six mixed with shade five i think actually a mix of both. So look how beautiful this one is. This is shade 51. Oh my goodness, it's a peachy blush colour. I don't actually have any um, bronzer on yet, so I'm doing this back to front. I've had a few Aperols, guys. <laughs> I've had two Aperols at this point, so I'm working a little bit back to front right now. No, I've told Natasha we're going to meet her at 20 past four. 20 yeah, to get the half past. No, to get the half past four. There's no point us going down. I'm guessing. In fact, would you mind just ringing reception, babe, and just asking what time the boats are? That'd be really good. I'm guessing the boats are half past and on the hour. But if you could just give them a ring and just ask. Looking a bit more alive now. Hi there. I'm just wondering what time the um, the water buses are to Venice. 4:50. So it's 10 past the hour and half past the hour. Only 50 for 50. Amazing. Cool. Thank you so much. So is it 10 past and 50 past? Yeah. So there's one at 10 to 5? Yeah, she said there's one at 10 past and then one at 10 to, I think, didn't she then? I think, yeah, I think that's what you said. You said at 4.50. Did you not say half past? I'll just tell Natasha we'll wait till 4.51. Gives a bit more time to get ready, so. Bolted getting ready. I know, I know, but I mean, we should have looked at what time is it. Bit of, a little bit of powder using the Luminous Silk Fusion Powder in number 2. Set that down a bit, soften those edges a little bit. For brows, I'm really loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze right now. It's really, really good. Especially with this little tool. Right, I'll come back when I'm ready. Hello, baby. Finally got ourselves over to St. Mark's Square. It's so beautiful, beautiful weather. It's me, Natasha. Where's she, where's she gone? Hello. I keep, I keep losing Natasha. <laughs> and Alex, where's Alex? Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, we thought we'd come into the tourist spots because Natasha's never been to Venice before. So we're gonna see a bit of St. Mark's and do some, some shopping, some retail therapy. But it's so lovely, so many tourists, beautiful weather, beautiful music. Such a lovely vibe. Like, like this, like that you more. can, a little bit more? I wouldn't do it so much. <laughs> are you going to have dinner? <laughs> yeah. An Italian dinner? <laughs> I mean, I can still get my fingers in that. It's good. Yeah, so that's a good thing to be yeah, able to do that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, okay. Okay? Let's go with that. Okay, perfect. We're like proud mothers sat here, aren't we? Just watching. <laughs> So we're currently in Giorgio Armani choosing a beautiful navy blue dream suit for Alex. He's getting it fully fitted so he can wear it on the red carpet. This is very, very exciting. And he's chosen to be really beautiful, like deep navy one with like a satin lapel. It is dinner time. This looks unbelievable. So good. This is such a cool little area we've got our own little area. Good morning everybody. I have forgotten my vlog camera, but I wanted to get a little bit of breakfast because the setting is so stunning. We've both just ordered some eggs benedict and I've got a hot chocolate with coffee, so I'm really excited about it. Alex is already digging in. He's gonna go give people gondola rides today. <laughs> One sec. That's better, I can see you properly now. Dirty camera alert. Oh. 
Look how beautiful this setting is though for breakfast in the grounds of this incredible hotel. Stunning, everyone's just sort of around having a little bit of breakfast. I've got, it's quite, quite a strange little, you can push it the other. Oh it's like, <laughs> gourmet. Yeah. It looks good though, it's legs. Delicious. tiny little eggs, Might Benedict. Have to order a Hi guys, ready again for a little day out in Venice. We're off to a little restaurant called Harry's Dolce. Dolce. Never been there before, very much excited about it. I'm wearing this beautiful little dress. Uh, this is the one I kept. I just, I think it's so pretty, it's so feminine. It just looks so lovely and it's perfect for the weather. The weather is divine. Check out that weather today. We are blessed with this today. We are late, technically we need to be leaving right, right now. Um, quickly to go get the boat with the Armani team. Today's perfume of choice. If you know me well, you know this is probably my desert island parfum. Rouge Malachite Armani Privé. I've gone for a slightly different lipstick today, a much more kind of mature, deep, deep, deep mature pink. This is Lip Power 201. A little bit different for me, but I quite like it. I thought rather than a really bright nude, something a bit more mature with this gorgeous feminine dress would be pretty. Yeah, right, off we go. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. We've come along to a restaurant called Harry's Dolce and we've all ordered. Harry's Dolce. Dolce, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it Dolce? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, he said Harry's Dolce. Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the setting. Thank you so much, Betty. The very edge here. Beautiful sunshine. <laughs> and our pasta is now arriving. <laughs> this just looks amazing. What? Oh my gosh, that risotto. That risotto. Oh my goodness, that looks unbelievable. <laughs> As if you got a salad. No, yours is going to be good too. I think Natasha's ordered a ragu. Janine's got the same as me. Oh, no. Olivia's got this amazing prawn oh, risotto. It's like ready to film. <laughs> I mean, look at this though. It? Treating yourself, babe. <laughs> so Natasha had seen this on the Instagram of this restaurant. So because Natasha was getting one, I needed to get one too. And then the whipped meringue on top. Oh my gosh, it looks absolutely sensational. Okay. <laughs> Is it fantastic? I mean, it looks unbelievable, doesn't it? Get off the meringue! Oh, it's only a bit huge. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, it's like lemony cream. Oh. Natasha, this was a great idea. Just got back from a fitting. I've been having a slight issue finding a perfect, the perfect kind of red carpet dress in my size to wear for the red carpet. And I think we've just found one. In fact, we've found two potential options. One of which is this beautiful, very like mermaidy aqua. Well, it's more of like a um, dusky grey sage kind of colour, beautifully beaded, with this pretty, uh, again, very mermaidy type skirt, very Armani, really beautiful. But then we've also got a second option, which is literally laying out here like a mermaid, which is this number. It's a full, it's almost like a coat dress. It zips all the way up the middle. So I'm between the two. This one would be a little more of a safer option. The other one could definitely be worn a little bit more kind of sexy and dressed up. Oops. Yeah, so I just need to decide now what I think. Ready for the evening? Let me show you my outfit. This is a little Emporio Armani number. It's really cute. It's like crinkly fabric. I mean, I'm gonna have to be careful of the old boobs coming out, but I really quite like this. Really cute, right? And then some little Emporio Armani silver sheets. I'm all silver now. And then red lip. This is the Lip Power 405. This is quite a nice deep vampy red. Um, so yeah, we are all ready. I had my fitting earlier. I've got the coolest like vampy dress to wear on the red carpet tomorrow from Giorgio Armani. So that's really exciting that I finally got a, a dress. That's been taken off to be tailored. It's got a call from the Armani boutique saying that Alex's suit is ready and that's been tailored. So hopefully tomorrow we'll look fabulous on the red carpet. But for now we're going out for dinner. There are quite a few of us that have come along. A number of actresses that work with Armani. So it's gonna be a lovely big table. So yeah, looking forward to it. Drunk. I literally had two <laughs> sips of a Negroni. Well, when it works. You're drunk, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
honestly, she had to lie down, she had half an espresso with her. She's like, this is so sick. It went, <laughs> it went to, to my down. head, it went to my head, it was a bit too strong. Yeah. I'm now having an amaretto on the rocks. Alex has a Negroni, and it's really strong. Negroni or amaretto, which favourite? Answer down below, guys. This is such a lovely uh, place, it's called Antico Martini. We, we came here a few years ago. The tiramisu. Yeah, this is where you have the tiramisu. Yeah, yeah, this is a special tiramisu place. So we've, we've all been very excited about this tiramisu. You've never tried it, have you? I've just packed it up for you. No, I tried it last time, it's was really good. But look how lovely everyone's sort of sat down. And we've got a big table of all of us. This looks so cool. Little crab shell. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yes, please. Oh, Extra lemon sink. Morning, guys. Today is red carpet day. Oh, gosh. So, somewhat nervous, somewhat anxious, but also very, very excited. I'm gonna head down for some breakfast. I'm wearing the same same outfit I did yesterday because I like it so much. And I only got to wear it for breakfast, so I thought, why not make the most? We're also gonna head over back to the mainland, pick up Alex's Armani suit. It's ready and tailored, so we're just hoping that it fits perfectly for tonight. Because Alex is also walking the red carpet. He needs to look sharp, so we're very, very excited about that. I'm gonna head down now. For some brekkie. We're we'll to pick up Alex's suit. A little Armani. I really hope it fits. I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, it should fit. It should fit really well. Surely. <laughs> Look who's shopping again. Yeah. Mr. Shopaholic! To be fair, we're in Dior and the men's stuff right now in Dior is so nice. So Alex is trying on these shoes he's up here for his, his suit for tonight, which would be nice. Mm. I've seen some incredible boots that I want, so we're on a little shoe try on. Cross. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh my gosh! Yeah? Oh wow! Oh, how do you see the best? Oh, you look fantastic! Or oh, with a blue t shirt as well. Yeah. Like on your dinner. Oh my gosh! You look amazing! Do you love it? Does it fit? Do, do you feel amazing. like it fits perfect? Guys, I forgot to say, I also bought something in Dior. I got some shoes. Alex has just got his full suit over there. And some shoes. I saw these and fell in love. So Alex is fully Armani to out now. Hi guys. Okay, red carpet look number one. This was gonna be my red carpet look. However, we found the perfect Giorgio Armani look instead. Because I do have this here, it is too beautiful not to go and shoot. So we're gonna do a quick photo shoot. I just had my hair done. I love this kind of textured ribboning that she's the hairstylist put through the hair into a low chignon as they say. Full Armani makeup. She used the eye tints and one of the, the Notorious Number One palette to create this really gorgeous grey smoky eye. Uh, Lip Power 102. I've got like the bronzer on the Fusion Powder in number nine. Yeah, so I just feel absolutely amazing now. But we're gonna go shoot this dress. Let me show you how insane this is. I mean, look. Sensational. Absolutely sensational. I mean, how amazing is it? And of course, I've put it on with my Rene's. Colours are incredible with this. And I also will pair it with this beautiful Bulgari with the blue handle too. I'm all ready to go. I mean, it's gonna go shoot this in the grounds of the San Clemente because it's so stunning. Because I wanna get a blog post, I wanna get Instagram pictures, I wanna get reels. And then we're gonna come back, then we're gonna come back. Alex is gonna get into his suit and I'm going to get into my Giorgio Armani dress and go from there. <laughs> okay, my red carpet look. Isn't this just unbelievable? Full sequin 
coat gown. It's like a, it's a dress kind of jacket coat, zips through the middle, pulls everything in. I've gone braless, I'm just seeing this long V. I feel very much like, it just feels almost like Bond villain meets glamour queen. <laughs> and then underneath this stunning organza skirt, it's absolutely sensational. Just look at the quality of this, it is unbelievable. I've gone for my Bulgari necklace, Bulgari earrings, my Bulgari jewellery. I'm also wearing, also wearing my first, in fact this was my first Bulgari bag, the beautiful metallic one. I thought it would be gorgeous in this colour. And then my heels, I'm wearing my black, ooh, I'm wearing my black Jimmy Choo's with the beautiful diamante strap. So yeah, full look guys. What do you think? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm a bit nervous. So Alex is just getting into his suit now. He's getting himself ready and we're gonna go out again and shoot this look before we head off. We've just taken reels and done a photo shoot in the other beautiful dress which we've just got hanging up now, the land fan. But for tonight, um, with the Armani Beauty team, obviously I'm wearing full Giorgio Armani look. Uh, from these boxer shorts. From now I'm gonna have to switch to my phone because I can't bring the camera in this little bag. So I'll be on the phone. <laughs> It's a good end. Honestly, look at this setting. It's just unbelievable. We have the most stunning view over here on this gorgeous long table. This reminds me of my wedding. <laughs> As you can tell from my face, I'm pretty tired this morning. Um, incredible night last night. Um, I got a few little bits of the evening of us going, obviously, red carpet into the film, which was fantastic. I'll tell you about that later. It was honestly brilliant. So highly recommend it. And then we went on to a hotel called Hotel Danielli, which looks over um, the lagoon. And it was absolutely divine. And it was just a massive table of Armani attendees and there were celebrities there and actresses and singers and all of our group and all different groups from around the world and it was just absolutely amazing but we only got in about two and then I was having like night terrors until half past two three so I am tired today we're gonna nip down for some breakfast with Nora and Sander if you know Nora she's queen of jet lags on Instagram fabulous lady um so we're gonna go and have a little bit of um breakfast with those guys and then back to pack oh, so last night was absolutely fantastic just had lunch actually which is why i'm just i'm just trying to find a spot that is not too crazy bright for me yes absolutely amazing night last night so we watched a film called i'll put it right here what it was called I can't quite think right now spanish film subtitled penelope cruz and antonio banderas absolutely brilliant like so would recommend it just so beautifully shot, like the symmetry in the shots was just like music to my eyes. Absolutely loved it, it was really brilliant. After that we went to this gorgeous um, dinner which you'll have seen, I got to try to get a few shots. It's hard though when I always feel a little bit awkward and there's a lot of celebrities around and singers or musicians who obviously are very wary of people recording them or you know having cameras on them and I'm just trying to get a view of this, the whole scene and the setting and they're probably thinking why is she recording me. I was still very awkward about it so I tried to get what I could um, but we had a fantastic dinner. All of the Armani guests were there. Obviously Armani, Armani is a huge sponsor of the Venice Film Festival so that's why so many guests were here with Armani. Um, I loved my outfit, absolutely loved my outfit for the event so it was just an amazing, amazing night. I'm trying to put on a little bit more makeup just to try and make myself feel a bit more alive. But we're gonna head back now, actually. We're gonna get on the boat, head back to the airport. Yeah, one thing I need to do though is I need to try and get a tax refund on some of the items that I bought. And I'll let you know if I manage it because this is a new thing now, obviously, with Brexit. Obviously, buying things over here, buying things over in Europe 
we no longer have to pay the tax on it. So I am just intrigued to see how this goes, how easy it is, how simple it is. And I can let you guys know, because I'm sure a lot of you are quite interested about coming over to a European country, buying your Dior bag, Hermes bag, whatever, and then taking it home tax-free. Then it'll be on home to my beau. Can't wait to see him. Obviously, we, I don't think, don't think I mentioned, but we've had someone um, looking after beau and the house whilst we've been gone. I've just managed to organise it. So we always have some people in the house whenever we go away, which is perfect. So I'm so happy. Okay, gotta go. So we're on our way home.